Hey everyone, this is Matt, and I'm going to show you how to get CleanShot X set up on your Mac, as well as the basics of how to get the most out of your experience with the app in no time flat. Let's jump in. After you've downloaded CleanShot X, you just want to open the DMG file, drag the app icon over to the Applications folder, and you're done. Go ahead and eject the volume, and then eject the DMG, and you're ready to go. We're just going to launch the app from Spotlight, and we'll search for CleanShot X. We'll open the app because we know it's from a reputable developer. And then I'm basically good to go. We're going to go through a quick setup process. I can read the license agreement and agree when I'm ready. And then I need to activate the app using either my CleanShot Cloud Pro account or a license key I've acquired for the app. I have a license key, so I'm going to paste that in and activate the app. Activation was successful, so now I can go through the rest of the setup process, which is really quick. This is all pretty self-explanatory, so we won't go over everything in detail, but if you want to set the default shortcuts for screenshots to the same as macOS, this is a really good way to seamlessly integrate CleanShot X into your workflow. Uh, you can say yes. You are going to be prompted to open the System Preferences app, go to Keyboard, go to Shortcuts, and then make sure all of the screenshots shortcuts are turned off for macOS so that CleanShot X can take over all of these actions. Would you like to hide desktop icons when you take a screenshot? I love this feature because I can have a messy desktop if I want, but when I take screenshots, everything looks pristine, so I always turn this on. And then I'm prompted to sign into my CleanShot Cloud account. If I have one, I can go ahead and create a free one right now. I can do it later, or I can sign in now. I do have an account, so I'm going to sign in right now. So I'm actually already signed in, but I would have been prompted to enter my username and password, and then I just get the screen to connect to the app. So I say connect, open CleanShot X, and there we go. I'm good to go. So then there's just a couple last things. This is telling me that I can go to the preferences in the app once it's set up to change even more about it. I can share usage statistics with the company, yes or no, I'll say yes. And then that's it. It's telling me it's going to be up in my menu bar. And when I hit awesome, there we go. It's right up here and it's ready to use. Before you take your first screenshot, the app may prompt you to give it screen recording permissions. If it does, then you'll just go to the System Preferences app, go to Security and Privacy, and then if you scroll down, there's a section for screen recording. You want to make sure that CleanShot X is on the list. If it's not, click the lock icon, hit plus, and then add CleanShot X. So now let's take our first screenshot with the app. I'm going to use the standard macOS shortcut of Command Shift 3 to take a screenshot, and you'll see this nice quick access overlay over here that's similar to what macOS offers, but has a lot more power. The screenshot isn't saved anywhere yet, but I do have the ability to copy it to my clipboard, to save it to the desktop, to pin it to the screen so I can view it at full size while I'm working. I can upload it to my CleanShot Cloud account, I can make edits to it, and I can close it if I just want to dismiss it and not actually save it. And each one of these has a shortcut that I can use, so if I want to go into the annotation tool, I can click this button, or while I'm hovering, I can just hit Command E. And now I can make some markup edits to this. I can go ahead and use all the tools available here, which we're not gonna get into in detail, but there's tons that you can do with these tools. We can go ahead and just say we're done. Now those changes are in the overlay. I can see them there. And then I'm just going to hit save. And now it's saved to my desktop. Probably the most common workflow for me is I'll take a screenshot of something and then using the quick access overlay, I'll bring up the annotation tool. I'll make my edits. I'll add whatever I need to add, so there we go. I'll hit done, and then I'll drag the image wherever I need it to go, whether it be into another photo editing app, into a group chat, or just to my file system on the desktop or another folder. Anywhere I could drag an image file, I can drag this as well. Now, maybe I want to save one of these to the cloud, and that's super easy as well. I'll take one more screenshot of my desktop, and then over here, I can just hit the cloud icon. It's gonna upload the image. There we go, and a link is copied to my clipboard. So if I open Safari and then paste in the URL, you're gonna see the screenshot that I just took. So here it is, it's a public link. I can share it with anyone and anyone who gets it can see a download button so they can download the full quality image. It's a really nice, easy way to share images online. Now, there are tons of other things you can do with CleanShot X. If you go over here to the menu bar icon, you can see all of the other screenshot types you can take. You can also do OCR to capture text on the screen. You can do a video recording, which we'll show in a second here as well, and then find some other settings here. But let's go into the app preferences to see some of the things I would recommend taking a look at. There's a lot here, but there's a few things I think you should really take a look at. The export location is the first, so by default, the app will save your screenshots to the desktop when you choose the save option from the quick access overlay over here. But you can make that any directory on your computer. 
And then the after capture settings are really powerful and let you tune the app to your specific needs. So by default, when you take a screenshot or a video recording, we'll show the quick access overlay, and then you choose what to do with the file. But maybe you always want the image to be copied to your clipboard. So when I take a screenshot, I also want it to copy to my clipboard automatically. Show me the overlay, but just copy it to my clipboard. Don't worry about anything else. But when I'm doing a recording, maybe in that case, I want to bring up the video editor. So I'll bring up the video editor so that I can edit the video before I do anything with it. And in this case, since I'm bringing up the editor, maybe I won't even show the quick access overlay. When I take a video, I'll just show the editor right away so I can save the file. You can tweak these to whatever your needs are, but there's something here for everyone. The other page I would go to is the shortcuts page. So basically everything CleanShot X can do can be set to a keyboard shortcut so you can do it from anywhere in the system. There's tons here so you can play around, change the defaults if you'd like. A lot of these don't have keyboard shortcuts by default and you can add them if you'd like. Personally, I like to be able to toggle my desktop icons on and off really easily. So I'll just hit record shortcut, do my keyboard shortcut. And now if I close the preferences and run my keyboard shortcut, I hid the icons. So if I'm sharing my screen in a Zoom meeting, for example, I'm able to share a clean desktop even if my desktop isn't actually that clean to begin with. Finally, let's record a quick video. So if I go up here and do record screen, I can select the part of the screen that I wanna record. I can resize it after the fact. I can set a specific aspect ratio and lock it to that. So as I resize it, it'll maintain the correct aspect ratio for me. I can set some advanced settings in here, some general ones, video-based ones, and GIF-based ones. I'm gonna leave those alone for now. I can turn on my microphone. So that's gonna record audio in the video. I can record audio from my computer. I don't wanna do that in this case, but I could turn this on if an app that I'm using is gonna make noise that I wanna capture. I can turn on video. So I can turn on my FaceTime camera and I'm right here and you can see it on video that I'm recording. You can record clicks from your mouse and you can record keystrokes. So all that's possible. And then once you do that, you just wanna say record video. It's gonna record and I have this little widget down here where I can stop, pause, restart, or trash it. I'll just click around and you can kind of see that. Now we're gonna stop it. And based on my settings I set a minute ago, it brings up the editor. I can go ahead and trim this down to just what I want. We'll just kind of do that little bit. I can change the video quality that I output. You can see the estimated file size is always down here. So if you have file constraints, you can make sure that's right. And then you can resize it to whatever dimensions you'd like. You can change the audio, so don't change it. I can convert it to a mono track. I can mute it entirely. Or if it was too soft, I could boost the volume. If it was too loud, I can reduce it. Once I'm ready, I can say trim. I'm gonna replace the video and that has been converted and I can just hit okay. And now this, just like my screenshots, I can drag it wherever I'd like and I'm done. CleanShot X can do even more than we went over today, but you should be in a good spot to enjoy the app already. You can contact CleanShot at any time for help and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks in the future. Links are all in the description. Thank you so much for watching.